We're hearing more from the Atlanta Police Department and they are reflecting on yesterday's chaos in Midtown. So many people understandably frightened, confused, shaken up. Many of them were locked down in buildings with limited information. New tonight, Tracy A. McPeer has more from the chief of police and Tracy he had a lot to talk about. He talked about what went right. He did. I just spoke with Darren Sherbaum this afternoon and he tells me while he's grateful more lives weren't lost and that many things worked yesterday, they still learn from every tragedy like this. And he says there are things you need to know to survive an active shooter. People are focusing on those officers running with their weapons. But what was behind the scenes were firefighters and paramedics. One day after police arrested Dion Patterson, charging him with a shooting that left one woman dead and injured four more women, Atlanta's police chief Darren Sheerbaum says the credit for how the community responded needs to go beyond police. Atlanta Fire Rescue, Grady EMS were not armed, that were going in there under escort to pull out individuals that gravely needed medical care. So those are part of your unsung heroes as well. He credits the citizens that called in tips and the multiple agencies that showed up in full force, eventually leading to Patterson's capture at a Cobb County condo complex. You saw a lot of different patches on the scene, but you saw one focus, one mission of everyone that took the same oath, which was to stop a dangerous individual and protect the community. And reflecting on Wednesday, Chief Sheerbaum says there are three things you need to know to hopefully survive an active shooter situation. One, try to separate yourself as quickly as possible, effectively as possible by getting out of the building. If you can't do that, you shelter in place, you barricade the door, and you remain safe. And if that isn't doable, you attack the person that is carrying out the attack. Yesterday, during the deadly shooting, Sheerbaum says those who had the time to react did the right things. We had citizens that fled the scene, and we were getting individuals that had taken shelter, barricaded themselves in the closets, in rooms, in patient care areas. They had moved refrigerators against the door, everything they had been trained to do. Sheerbaum says now Atlanta police will debrief on how it responded, looking at what worked and noting any changes they need to make for future incidents. We will take the lessons learned this week apply it to our training so when we are called upon again in this city or anywhere in the region to respond uh, to a similar incident, we'll be ready to do so more effectively. APD and other agencies offer active shooter training. For more information on that, just go to our website, 11alive.com.